So today's video is based on a question that I had from one of you, which was asking about my favorite fragrances. Now, full disclosure, I had a bit of a fragrance accident, a bit of a perfume explosion on the way here. So a few bottles of my favorite perfumes did actually get smashed en route. So this whole room smells quite potent right now, a bit like a perfume counter. You know, the smell of a department store when you walk in and you just sort of, this huge wave of fragrance hits you. It smells a bit like that in here right now. Anyway, a few of my favorites are still here for me to tell you about. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to, because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. So maybe we'll just start here in the middle with them, with some Serge Lutens. So this one's called Santal Majuscule. Uh, I know that Santal's been quite trending as a perfume, as a fragrance recently. These quite woody, quite masculine um, fragrances, such as Santal by Le Labo. I love it. It's very strong, and I have to be really in that mood for wanting something quite, quite potent first thing in the morning. But for me, because I like to play with that sort of an interplay of masculinity and femininity, I actually love to combine it with this perfume from Serge Lutens, and I sort of layer them up in a bit of a, you know, a perfume cocktail, if you like. So this one's called uh, Fleur d'Oranger. I do find that I'm drawn to these more, more feminine sort of floral fragrances mixed with quite, um, quite woody fragrances. Um, orange blossom water, I love the smell of, generally speaking, I love desserts that include orange uh, flower water as well, and also, you know, rose petals, all of that delicious sort of Persian cuisine, which has those floral scents in, I love. Yeah, so I like to spritz a little bit of Santal and then mix it up, as I say, with my own personal perfume cocktail um, with this Fleur d'Oranger one from Serge Lutens. I've spoken before about one of my old favorites. It's a bit of a granny perfume and it's Faubourg by Hermes. I love it. It smells so warm. Again, it's got a little bit of that sort of orange blossom kind of notes in there. Um, and it's just a little bit talky, a little bit talcum powdery or something something that's linking it for me with them, um, with my grandmother. It's a very round, warm fragrance. I did manage to smash it on my way here today. Um, but one of the things I love to do is to wear it with this, which is, um, it's like a dry oil by the brand Nukes. And oh gosh, this just smells, you can just spray it all over your body. And it's, Oh, it smells of the sunshine to me, to be honest with you. And it just absorbs into the skin really, really quickly. So you can just spritz it on all over, even in the ends of your hair, if you have really dry hair or blondy hair like I do. So I love to put this on first, and then I put the Faubourg by Hermes over the top, and it just sort of envelops me in a smell that I find incredibly comforting and reassuring. So if I want to feel in that way, I want to feel really cosy and sort of a little bit summery and a little bit reminded of my grandmother, then that's what I'll go for. Whereas if I want to feel like I'm in control of my day, I'm feeling a bit more punchy, a bit stronger, then I'd go for like the Santal um, and the Orange Blossom cocktail. I think a lot of people like the smell of this amazing body oil. Also really good for my dry elbows. Um, a lot of people do love the fragrance of this and they did release a kind of perfume, but it doesn't really smell the same. Mmm, this smells so good. Uh, what else have I got here in my little my little collection today? I've got this one from Santa Maria Novella. There's quite a few of their collection that I love. It's very light. It um, it disappears quite quickly. So this is more like one of my afternoon spritzes when I need a little pep up. You've probably heard me talking before about that idea of like 
um, a power perfume that you can just put on so that you take some deep breaths, maybe before a meeting or a presentation, or just instead of like a sugar rush at around four o'clock during that slump, I just like to put something like this on. <sighs> ah, and it breathes, it makes me breathe deeply and feel a bit more delicious wherever I am. So this is one of the classic Santa Maria Novella ones. It smells, oh gosh, it's so different to the Nuke's oil. It just smells so incredibly fresh. Um, and this one I would say is quite light. I also like one of the um, one of the more masculine ones that they do. Gosh, what's it called? It's something like a little bit Russian, a little bit spicy, a little bit masculine. Do you know what? I'm going to find the name of that one and pop it in the um, and pop it in the description. You know, I just like I like to mix these more masculine ones with the with the lighter, brighter more feminine fragrances. So that's a nice one. I'd be remiss not to talk about this little pendant while I'm doing my perfume chit chat. So this is um, from Liberty of London. And actually, I don't know what brand it's from, but it's this whole collection of like mini bottles. I've always loved that tiny Tiffany perfume bottle that I think Elsa Peretti did for, for Tiffany, if I'm not mistaken. Really cute. And this is like a take on that. It's, um, it's actually, you can actually open it. Look how adorable. Oh, and it's metal inside and you can just put a little drip of perfume inside. So that again, throughout the day, if you're feeling, uh, if you're somewhere a bit whiffy, you know, you can just take a little, take a little sniff. It's quite perfect. Better than snuff, no? I love it. So with, with them, um, with this one, the Serge Lutens, you know, it's quite a potent colour. And you know, some of these you have to be a bit careful with when you spray them on after you've got dressed, because you know, you don't want them staining your clothes. But with some of these ones like this one from Santa Maria Novella, you know, it's a much lighter, fresher smell. So sometimes I'll even like spray it up here above me and then let it sort of rain down on me. Actually, there's um there's a, a scene in a Pina Bausch dance where they're sort of revealing the idea of gender and the sort of gender norms and rituals that we females go go through every day, you know, which I quite love. For me, it's it's part of the ritual of getting dressed every day and getting ready for my day. You know, part of that is is sometimes putting my perfume on. I don't, I don't wear it every day. But it makes me feel more finished and it makes me feel more ready to face the world external to myself, external to my home, because I feel like I'm taking my own sort of cocoon of fragrance with me, you know? So I find it quite empowering in that way. So I enjoy the ritual of femininity of, of putting my fragrance on. And in this Pina Bausch dance, you know, they spritz it and then they sort of run through it in a slightly comedic manner. Um, as you can imagine, a Pina Bausch dance piece to be. But nevertheless, I do that. I spritz it above me and it lightly scents my hair as well so that, you know, as my hair swishes in front of me, you know, I can smell a little bit of this fresh perfume that doesn't last so long. Love it. Doesn't perfume just have this incredible ability to sort of take us back to somewhere? It's a bit like when you hear a piece of music from your childhood and you're instantly transported back. I find that with, with fragrances, it's a bit the same. It's incredible how you can set a mood or a tone just from the fragrance that you put on or that you um, have around your, your home too. I remember I used to have a therapist and she always burned um, that Bayes candle from Diptyque. It's quite a delicious smell. But every time I have that or I've had it in my home, it just reminds me of her. Um, so, you know, that has its own um, particular memories and connotations that I don't always want to signify. I have to confess, I'm a massive sucker for churchy smells. <laughs> I'm a convent, I'm an ex-convent school girl um, from my Polish uh, Catholic upbringing and, you know, did spend some of my childhood in, in beautiful old churches. I still love to go into a church and just sit down and breathe in that smell of church incense with the cool air. I find it really evocative and calming. So there's something in this from my childhood that I do love, even though I don't necessarily love going to church. I used to love the Armani Myrrh perfume. It's one of those from the collection that has the big stones on the top, but unfortunately they discontinued it. I, you know, sometimes it can be a bit, the initial feeling of something being discontinued, like your favorite lipstick or your favorite fragrance. It's a bit like, oh no, but it's also a great opportunity to find new fun things because there's so much out there to love, right? And recently I discovered the new Gucci collection of fragrances from creative director Alessandro Michele. So they're very different to their, you know, Gucci Envy or that kind of 90s era, Tom Ford era perfumes for, um, for Gucci. And they've got these very, vintage style packagings. They look like they're from an apothecary. 
um, very charming. And there's one that I just smelt at um, actually at JFK Airport. And then I loved it so much that I went in for a second spritz in Selfridges recently. And it's just, it just, it's pure incense. It really smells like church, you know. I've never been, I have to confess, on an enchanted midnight stroll that smelt like church. <laughs> certainly not a midnight, not, certainly not at midnight mass. Um, for me, an enchanted stroll might be more like night jasmine or something like that. Gosh, I do love jasmine too. I remember there was a brand called Rodan Oil and that smelt of jasmine and that just took me back to my mother's garden. And actually they did a fragrance of that, which was just like pure jasmine oil, really beautiful, delicious, but they discontinued that too. Anyway, I might indulge in the Gucci uh, Midnight Stroll to me church fragrance. Love that very much. Finally on my little list for my perfume tour today is this little, little number, which I adore. It was a 40th birthday gift from some good friends of mine um, who knew that I'd fallen in love with this charming bottle that just scratched on my smashed bottle of, of Faubourg on the way. So this is actually a fragrance, but in a in an Hermes lock shaped packaging. Um, inside I've got Jour d'Hermes, um, which is, which is quite, um, the initial smell actually is quite alcoholic that I've just spritzed onto me. But again, it's got this roundness to it. There's also, there's an Hermes one called, which is a rhubarb one. It's sort of, reminds me of it a little bit. I, I suppose I'm less keen on the smell of this. And when, when the, um, the refillable vial on the inside finishes, I'll be replenishing it with, oh, it's not here because I smashed it. I'll be replenishing this one with the um, with my favorite Faubourg. But don't you just adore that little packaging? Isn't it just beautiful? And it's such a gorgeous object as much as, um, as much as a yummy perfume. And don't forget, if you've got any questions for my Ask Alexandra series, don't hesitate to write them in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Et voila, thank you for watching. À la prochaine, bye bye.